morning, y'all. Hope you're doing good. I ain't going to be able to stop once we start getting going on this Texas wildfire stuff, so I just want to tell you real quick. Imagine you're like eight years old, okay, and you got a million Chuck E. Cheese tokens. You're all fired up about it, and you hold it for 20 years, and then all of a sudden, all the Chuck E. Cheeses in your state close down like they did with mine. That's exactly how people treat the dollar, as if it's going to be worth anything in 20 years anyway. So make sure you got that food, ammo, silver, and gold. I partnered with Allegiance Gold because they're the best i found. They let you physically hold it in your hand. Go to protectwithbuddy.com, and right now you can get up to $5,000 in free silver. Protectwithbuddy.com, the link is below. <laughs> Top of the morning, y'all. I woke up with a little surprise this morning that we got 1.1 million subscribers. Just a big old Patriot Army with testicular fortitude on this channel now. Uh, big old family. Hell, this channel scares liberals more than gassing up at Memphis after midnight. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? But I don't do conspiracy on this channel. What I do, however, is I try so hard to ask the questions that would terrify a White House press secretary. You know what I'm saying? Ask the questions that nobody else was asking, okay? It's the kind of stuff you talk about when you're riding around with your buddy privately in the truck. I mean, was Amy Beth just really drunk that night or was that a one-time thing? All right, we're going to get serious for a second. As far as the Texas wildfire stuff is concerned, at the time that I'm recording this right now, they're saying 1.1 million acres are already on fire. Uh, and it's now reached Oklahoma. Okay, we pray for everybody out there. If you're in Texas, we're praying for y'all. We're lifting you up because this is absolutely terrible. My granddad was born in Amarillo. That's why I got so much Texas in me in my state of mind. My mama was born in Oklahoma. So lots of family in Texas, lots of family in um, Oklahoma. So this just really hits home. Let's address all the conspiracy stuff that you're hearing first because we're hearing about lasers. We're hearing about arson, uh, space lasers from the sky and all this kind of stuff for God knows what. Whatever it is, we're going to need to see proof for any of that kind of stuff to happen. What we do know is the government is desperate to get people to depend on them. Hence why we don't trust them. And what I also know is, and this is a fact, okay, it's a very bad time of year for fires. Uh, seasonally, right now, everything is very dry, and you have a lot of situations like right now in the panhandle of Texas where you got 50-mile-an-hour winds. Extremely dry, hadn't quite headed into spring yet, 50-mile-an-hour winds. Of course, there's going to be a high probability for big old wildfires. Because, look, most people have never even touched the panhandle of Texas before, and they're going, how could something like this happen in February? It's because they're used to seeing wildfires in California, Colorado, up there in Canada, all happening during the summertime. Here's what's not a conspiracy, though. This is all happening at a time when Texas is trying to defend itself. It's also really interesting as hell that as soon as Texas stands up to the government, she gets hit with the largest wildfire in Texas state history. Sure, it may be coincidence, but it's interesting. Whether this is a yearly situation or whether this is spiritual, I do believe that in landmass, military, central proximity, and natural resources, Texas is the most powerful state in America. And they're being attacked harder than any other state in America. And it's also the only state that could choose to leave and go its own way in about 25 or 26 would follow immediately. But that's a completely different video. Now, some might argue that it's California, that it's New York. I would, of course, argue that it doesn't matter what the size of their economy is because their horse will never win the race. It'd be like having the fastest race horse in the quarter mile. It don't matter if you've got a crackhead riding that horse who shoots the horse 50 feet into the race. So I was thinking, if I was a supervillain, I mean, arsonists are literal terrorists. We all agree on that, right? Y'all remember the conspiracy theorist up in Canada just last year? He pled guilty to 14 different fires that he started himself. He said the government was doing it. It was him all along. These people are pure evil. So we got to ask ourselves, is the border safer now with a million plus acres burning to the north? I mean, we only got so many protectors in this world. And the last thing we need is to see our protectors get scattered to the wind because that's what makes us weak. And if this is an arsonist or even worse, oh, makes me sick. Just know that God has his own fire to settle the score. And there ain't gonna be no water trucks coming to put it out. God bless Texas, y'all be safe up there. Mm -hmm.